Today we'll be touring a newly built six bedroom townhouse here on Abingdon Road, just off the Kensington High Street and directly adjacent to Holland Park. Now this home has a triple basement featuring a swimming pool, media room and gym. You're not gonna wanna miss this one, so let's explore what 11 million pound buys you here in Kensington. Starting off on the exterior, taking a look to the property, as I mentioned, it's brand newly constructed. This property here, as well as the neighboring one. Now, originally there was a 1920s single dwelling here with a couple of muse houses on the back on the same title. The developers bought the land and have since created these two townhouses. Now, although they're brand new, they're very much in keeping with the architectural profile of the neighboring properties. They have very much early Victorian inspired design. Now, let's take a closer look at the property. We have six stories to see today. Now, most interestingly, this was one of the last homes in the Kensington and Chelsea borough to be approved for a triple basement. That's right, there's three stories down there. Now, if you have a home in the area already with a basement, you can convert it, but this was actually a new basement. So that's a pretty cool fact. We have 6,146 square feet, so just over 6,000, over six floors in total, so about 1,000 square foot per floor. Okay, let's get into the tour, come on inside. Moving into the house by the Bannum top quality door, we're now in the entrance. So this home, as I said, is newly constructed. So it very much has all of the smart technology that you could want. You've got the underfloor heating, you can control all of that from the various tablets around the home, as well as from your phone. Now, one of the unique features about this property for the area, it actually has a garage. And we did use this this morning. So we have put the car in the garage here. If I go in slightly, I'll turn the light on. So you've got secure parking for your car, which is hard to come by in London. Head over to our Instagram at The Luxury Home Show to see the behind the scenes of trying to get the car in there. Now moving forward, we have one of the staircases here. The home does have a lift and that is accessed directly here. Now we're gonna move through this way, past the welcoming area. We have some textured finish here with the ambient light around there, some storage this side. I've got to show you this. There's a couple of structural pieces of glazing here, actually three in total, looking down to your kitchen. So you can walk up and down here, very unique feature. Now we have the sliding doors accessing to your courtyard where they have some astro turf at the moment. So the home is kind of a U shape. And at the back here, this is where the original muse houses were and the original dwelling from the 1920s would have made up the two properties here. But they've very nicely incorporated the space. We have another skylight above me here. So lots of natural light pouring all the way down to the basement levels. We're gonna go down a couple of stone steps as we head into the formal living area, a beautiful space. We have Taylor House on the interior design. Um, we've featured many of their projects before. They've done a beautiful job. We've got the recessed ceiling with the ambient lighting around. This home actually has dual zone climate, so you can have your air conditioning as well as your heating. You have another access door up a few steps onto your terrace there. So the home is very much centered around the outside space, around the courtyard. Now over this side, you can take steps up to what is currently a study or could also be a guest bedroom. You can step out onto the Juliet balcony there and enjoy the views to the garden. We're not gonna go that way at the moment though. I'm gonna take you down these steps here and we're gonna to progress to the first level of the basement or the lower ground floor and show you this amazing kitchen. Moving on to the lower ground floor, um, access via the very much modernist staircase there with the glazing on the side. An amazing living space here, high ceilings, even though we're a floor down, and then a huge TV recess there for one of your TVs, but there's actually a media room for an 85 inch TV. Moving into the kitchen, this is Italian design with a gray Marquina worktop here, the marble. And then we have the Bolvere veneer here on the side. I've been practicing the Spanish. I haven't said that perfectly right. Anyway, we have a Gaganau appliances here. Really cool, smart feature. So often with these induction hobs, you may wonder, well, what if kids put their hands on them? And so what you can do is take this away from you and it will beep and it is now locked. So if you have this in your pocket, in your bag or something, this is locked, you wanna come back and use it, simply put that on and it's unlocked. 
quite a cool feature. Now moving to this side, we have the Gaganau microwave and ovens over here. And then finally on this side, the freezer on my left and then the fridge on the other side, they're both Siemens. Now we have the dining table directly in front of me here. The annex connector above that we saw that I walked over, so that's laying all the natural light into this space, as well as some cleverly um, positioned spotlights showcasing the artwork just over here. Now, if I take you through this door, if you're struggling to lose your bearings, I'll pause for a moment here and put a floor plan up on screen so you can get your references to that. On my left, we have a powder room with a beautiful white marble in there, lots of veinage detail. And then we have the lift here in the center. So staircase there, staircase here, lift in the center. Okay, keep moving on through this way. We have the storage room in there and I'm gonna take you into the media room. Beautiful place to sit down. And what I like here is they actually do have a window. So you have all of the natural light coming there from the ground floor. The um, wall panel and the custom detailing here is, is amazing. So this is fit for an 85 inch TV. Now the property next door is a mirror image of this home and it's already sold. And the buyer that moved into there has this setup up and running and it's incredible. So the sound system and the speakers would go in each side here. And then again, we've still got really good ceiling heights, the recess and the ambient lighting on there too. Let us know in the comments guys, what you think to this house so far. We're gonna keep exploring. And now I'm gonna take you down to the swimming pool level. This time we'll take the lift. You're now joining me on the mid basement level. Yeah, the ceiling heights, especially in the area here, are still really reasonable. Now this is the swimming pool spa. We have the steam room through here, swimming pool here, so you can swim up and down this part. Then we have the jacuzzi spa in the center here. But how cool is this to have underground, two levels underground in your basement here in Kensington? Finally, just in front of me here, we have a nicely designed towel storage. I really like the material choice that they've used for this here. It gives it some good depth and they have something similar in the gym, which I'll show you to now. Come across this side. Here is the gym, or could quite aptly be used as a staff bedroom as well, if you did want staff here in the home. But I think, yeah, keep it as a gym, works so well. You can bring in quite a bit more equipment into this space. Finally, on this floor, if you come through this way, we have a shower room to service the gym and also the swimming pool. So you can come on in, you've got the basin and stuff this side, but then actually if you come all the way around, we do have the shower, the rainfall head, almost like a rendered finish here that feels quite European. And now, um, yeah, let's head to the next floor down. I'll show you what's down there. Next up, we're gonna explore the final basement level down. Now this is all about the brains of the house. So if this bit doesn't interest you, I've chaptered the video. So just click onto the next chapter and you can see the principal bedroom. So this is the utility area. Then if we come through this door, you've got everything going on. Now, as I said, being in a triple basement level, all of the tech, I can turn the spa on and off via this, but you've also got a remote for that. But come through this way, we're gonna explore through here so this could be a really good area for perhaps uh, wine storage down in the basement or storing of like luggage and suitcases. But anyway, now, um, yeah, let's get to the next level. This is also fully tanked by the way. So if you do have any water spillage here, it doesn't have any feel of damp. But anyway, let's get on with the tour and go to the first floor. Welcome to the first floor. We're now gonna check out the principal bedroom, which is just through this door here. Come on in. So I'll close this. We have the bed in the center. Being on the first floor, we have the Juliet balcony here, so you can open both of these up um, one at a time and check out the view. I'll just close these again and we'll continue looking around. The bedroom's here. And then around this way, we have the dressing room. So you walk through, you have a makeup station, large dressing room to my right with a nice view onto the back of the property but it is all about this ensuite. I love the choice of gray marble that they've chosen here with the dual sinks, big mirror, backlit, really nice. And then the bathtub this side again with a marble surround. Now this marble, if you look close up, actually has a sparkle, really nice finish. And then they've actually book matched it up there. Now finally we have the walk-in shower over here. So three gigantic white marble tiles 
all sourced from Italy. Now, as we move out of here and we head up to the second floor, there are two bedrooms, each with their own ensuite. Then as you go to the third floor, there's the two further bedrooms that share a Jack and Jill ensuite. Now, moving back into this bedroom, I hope you've enjoyed looking around this home. We're now gonna check out the local area and head to Holland Park. Let's go. So just a short walk away from the property we're here in Holland Park. You can literally walk around here, it's on your doorstep. So let us know in the comments what you thought of this 11 million pound townhouse. Do you think it's worth it? For any more information, the property is listed with David McGuinness from Moverly and the descriptions will be down below. Hope you enjoyed this tour. I'll put another couple of suggestions on screen here for you to go uh, check out and watch to see another video and we'll see you all in the next tour.